Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Student Council Vice President Haley Simmons and Student Council Secretary Dawson Walthall. Hello everyone, welcome to the 2020 Virtual Academy Awards. This year, due to the COVID-19 virus, we are having to deliver this to you online, but we will still have lots of fun tonight. Now, Deuce Carter will introduce the elementary teachers for their awards. Thanks, Haley. Now welcome first grade teacher, Mrs. Hall. Hello everyone. Um, I am Mandy Hall from, and I teach first grade at Southwest Christian. Um, today I want to go over the honor roll with first grade. The all A's is Dee Dee Dunbar, Camden Patrick, Riley Reedy, Whitley Ryan, Lizzie Valdez. I'm very proud of all of these boys and girls. They made all A's. Um, the AB honor roll is Hayden Spearman, Cameron Davidson, Isabel Davidson, Madeline Hunter, and Noah Santos. I am so very proud of you. Um, now I would like to talk about Christian character. Um, at our school, we like to do um, Christian character that um, has a spirit of Christ in everything that they say and do. And this year's uh, third nine weeks is Noah Santos and Hayden Spearman. Congratulations. Um, perfect attendance. These boys and girls have been here every day and um, they've helped me along the way. Um, here uh, it is Camden Patrick, Hayden Spearman. Um, I have Mr. and Ms. Mrs. Manners. These boys and girls have showed excellent manners saying yes ma'am, no ma'am and always obeyed the rules. These children are Dee Dee Dunbar and Riley Reedy. I have uh, Cursive King and Queen. Uh, they are Camden Patrick and Lizzie Valdez. They uh, consistently try their best when they do their cursive handwriting. Um, Accelerated Reader, this is from Miss Linville and she has nominated Lizzie Valdez and she has won for first grade. Um, remarkable Reader. Uh, the person I always find in the corner reading a story is always Isabel Davidson. Um, the best helper in the room is Dee Dee Dunbar. Um, and the best memory is also Dee Dee Dunbar. He's always one to help me remember when um, we need to review something or go back over something. Um, the future pet uh, veterinarian is Whitley Ryan. She's most likely to help any stray dog or cat around. Um, and she's also most likely to make you laugh. She's always cracking a joke and telling us funny things to make us laugh. Um, most unique is Madeline Hunter. She's also mo most likely to brighten your day. If you need a smile, all, she, all you have to do is look at her face and she's already smiling. Um, most dependable in the classroom is Camden Patrick. He's always there to make sure that if I'm not there, that the boys and girls are doing right, and he's, I can always depend on him if I need anything in the room. Um, most improved handwriting, I'm giving that to um, Noah Santos and also Nelly Hernandez. They've improved their handwriting to, from where um, it was somewhat cursive, but now it's completely cursive, and I'm very proud of them. Um, the math award goes to Noah Santos. Um, the language award goes to Riley Reedy. Um, the people who are always ready for a laugh and always have a best laugh is Noah Santos and Anneli Hernandez. Um, best friend to all in the classroom is Hayden Spearman. Um, the reading achievement award goes to Lizzie Valdez and Camden Patrick. You can always find them reading as well as Isabel. Um, most artistic, it would be Cameron Davidson. He's always drawing, a, drawing me a funny picture or sticking a picture on his paper. Um, he's also the future scientist. Um, he's, he's always finding uh, some little bug to bring in the classroom and show us. Um, the friendly neighbor is Lizzie Valdez. She's always willing to, if she's done with her work, she'll go around to help everybody else make sure that they're doing their work. And the leader of the pack in first grade is Isabel Davidson. She um, 
make sure that all the boys and girls are together as one and united in the classroom. I want to take this time and thank everybody in, our, in the first grade class. Um, it was an honor to be your teacher this year, and I'm very blessed by you all. Thank you. The nominees for first grade student of the year are Riley Reedy, Lizzie Valdez, Camden Patrick, and Dijon Dunbar. And the winner is Riley, Riley Reedy. Reedy. Now welcome second grade teacher, Mrs. Young. Hi everyone, I want to tell you about the awards for this year for second grade. Um, the first one that I want to tell you about is perfect attendance and these are the kids that have been here every day during the first through third nine weeks and have completed all of their work during the fourth nine weeks even then when we've not been here. And those kids are Skylar Billings, Ainsley Burleson, Jacob Lawrence, and Emma Taylor. And we appreciate you guys having great attendance. That's awesome. The next award that I want to give is the Christian Character Award or announced. This was voted on by their peers and it was the same two kids the whole year. And that was Justin Peppers and Cadence Yarberry. So awesome job being great leaders for um, all the other kids. Um, the next one that I want to give is the Accelerated Reader Award and this is from Library with Miss Linville and that goes to Addison Wolf. So great job on your tests in Library Addison. And then I want to move to the honor roll. Everyone in the second grade class has gotten on the honor roll this year. And that is really awesome and unique because that doesn't always happen. I have five students who are on the all A honor roll. And those are Skylar Billings, Justin Peppers, Emma Taylor, Addison Wolf and Cadence Yarberry. So awesome job. And then everyone else got on the AB honor roll. So that would be Brooklyn Baker, Carrington Brewer, Ainsley Burleson, Braylon Hall, Andre Jackson, Jacob Lawrence, Gracie Surrett, Emery Concava, and Serena Wolf. So those are the AB. Um, the next ones that I want to read are the ones for the end of the year highest grade in each subject. So I will tell you who got the highest grade and the grade that they got in that subject. So for Bible, that was Cadence Yarberry and she got 100. For handwriting, that was Emma Taylor and she got a 97. For language, it was Addison Wolf, and she got a 99. For math, it was Justin Peppers, and he got 100. Reading was Emma Taylor, Addison Wolf, and Cadence Yarberry with a 98. Science was Justin Peppers and Addison Wolf with a 99. Social studies was Andre Jackson and Addison Wolf with the 99 and spelling there was five students who all had 100. Skylar Billings, Carrington Brewer, Justin Peppers, Emma Taylor and Addison Wolf. So great job to all those students and I have really appreciated everyone this last nine weeks hanging in with us and getting all your grades in and doing such a great job. Um, I really enjoyed having you this year, guys. The nominees for second grade student of the year are Skylar Billings, Justin Peppers, Emma Taylor, and Addison Wolf. And the winner is Addison Wolf. Now introducing third grade teacher, Mrs. Simmons. Good evening, boys and girls and parents. Welcome to our virtual Academy Awards show tonight. 
I know that we didn't get to end our year the way that we would have wanted to, but I'm still super proud of all the hard work you've done this year while we were in school and during these seven weeks that we've been out of school. So tonight I'm going to honor you by giving out some awards that you have earned this year. And the first ones that I'm going to start with are perfect attendance. These are the students who did not miss a single day of school this year. And those students are Sydney Green, Landon Horton, and Tyson Robinson. Good job guys, because it's super hard to go all year without missing a day of school. The next award I want to give out is to the most improved student, except this year I have two of those. These are the students who worked so hard this year and have come such a long way from the beginning of the year and to the end of the year. They've worked so hard in every area and their grades improved, their behavior improved, and I'm super proud of how hard they worked. And those students are Kiana Phipps and Dax Bishop. Good job, guys, I'm so proud of you. The next awards that I want to give out are the subject awards. These are the students who had the highest grade in each subject for the entire year, boys and girls, not just one nine weeks, the whole entire year. And I'm gonna start with the science award. The student who had the highest grade in science this year is Landon Horton. Good job, Landon. Our next subject award is the language award. The student who had the highest grade in language this year is Jalen Valdez. Great job, Jalen. Our history student of the year, highest grade in history all year long is Landon Horton. Good job, Landon. Our math student of the year was Jalen Valdez. Our reading student of the year was Landon Horton. Our top spelling student of the year was Jalen Valdez. Good job, Landon and Jalen. Y'all worked really hard this year to get those top awards. Now, the next award I'm gonna give is not really a subject award at all, but it's something that I like to honor every year because not everybody's talent is in the subjects. Some people have other talents that are gifted by God, and one of those talents is art. So I always like to honor the kids who have the best art all year long. And those two awards go to Sarah Grace Stewart and Reese Ferguson. Good job, girls. Y'all have beautiful art. Now, my next award is difficult to do all year long, boys and girls, but this award is so important to me. And in fact, I think it's more important sometimes than our academic achievement because this award speaks about your character. And this award is goes to the students who did not get a single behavior mark all year long. And those students are, there's five of them, Reese Ferguson, Sebastian Garcia, Sarah Gray Stewart, Jalen Valdez, and Esther Villanueva. Those five students did not get a single behavior mark all year long. Good job, boys and girls, because that talks about the kind of person you are on the inside. The next award I want to give is a penmanship award. I think it's very important that we have good penmanship. And I had one little girl this year whose penmanship was so beautiful. In fact, she writes a lot better than I do. And the penmanship award this year goes to Maddie Lunsford. Good job, Maddie. Now, I want to do the honor roll awards because this is a big deal. The honor roll awards that I'm going to start with are the AB honor roll. These students had to make A's and B's all year long, not just one nine weeks, boys and girls. So I want you to understand that. These kids made A's and B's the whole entire time we were in school, including this nine weeks that we've had to be home. And those students are Maddie Lunsford, Esther Villanueva, Rain Barnes, Landon Horton, and Lauren Oaks. Good job, guys, for making A's and B's all year long. The next awards are the students who made all A's all year long, every single nine weeks in every subject. It's harder to do that, boys and girls, as you go up the grades. But I had two students that made all A's this year, and they are Jalen Valdez and Tyson Robinson. Good job, you two. You worked really hard to get those awards. Now, 
The next few awards are not subject awards. These are awards that I like to give that are kind of fun and speak about a person's character. And so these next five awards are a little bit different. My first award is the Entertainer of the Year Award. We could always count on this student to entertain us, tell us funny stories, and keep us laughing in class. And that award goes to Riley Piggies. My next award is called the Sweet Spirit Award. This person always had such a kind spirit about himself and always was yes ma'am and no ma'am and I never had any issues with him. He was just a sweet kid. And that award goes to Michael Mixon. My next award is called the All In Award. Now, this award goes to the person who no matter what we were doing, you could count on that student. They were on it. They were paying attention. They put all their effort into it and really participated in everything we did. And my All In Award goes to Rain Barnes. My next award is the Most Inquisitive Award. Inquisitive means someone who always wants to know why. They were always asking questions, wanting to know more about what I was talking about. And there was one student this year who was so inquisitive and loved to learn what we were doing. And that award goes to Tyson Robinson. And then I have an award called the Never Give Up Award. This student worked really hard, especially in math. He came from a place where he really struggled the first semester to really turning it around the second semester. And no matter what, he just did not give up. And my Never Give Up Award goes to Kingston Cunningham. Now, my last awards, boys and girls, go to the top four students of the year. These four students had the highest grades all year long. One of those students will be the top student of the year and that award will be announced at the later part of our Academy Award show tonight so you'll want to stay tuned in. But my top four students of the year this year were Maddie Lunsford, Landon Horton, Tyson Robinson, and Jalen Valdez. Good job boys and girls. I'm super proud of everything that you did this year. You worked hard, you helped me, and I appreciate it so much. Stay tuned and continue watching the rest of the award show. Good night, boys and girls. The nominees for third grade student of the year are Maddie Lunsford, Landon Horton, Tyson Robinson, and Jalen Valdez. And the winner is Jalen Valdez. Valdez. Now introducing fourth grade teacher, Mrs. Santis. Hi, fourth grade class. I just wanted to let you know how much I miss you, and uh, this has been a great year. You guys are a great group of kids, and uh, I have missed seeing your faces the last few weeks, and I just want to read off a few awards that you've gotten throughout the year. So, student of the year is, uh, the nominees are Marley Bartle, Pearson Robinson, Tyla Collins, and Logan Yates. Marley, you also received uh, Language and Reading Awards. LMA, you received the Bible Award. Tyla, you received the Reading and Best Handwriting Award. Logan Davidson, you received the History and PE Award. Connor, you received the Most Athletic. Mallory, the Most Compassionate. Kaya, the Most Organized. John Arthur, the Math Award. David, you have the kindest spirit. Shelby, spelling. Here, the most helpful to others in class. Rowan, you received the most improved all around award. Pearson, you received the science and language award. Jace, the hardest worker. Layla, the honesty award. Logan Yates, science and PE. The Christian Character Awards go to Marley Bartle and Logan Davidson. The Bible Trophy Awards go to Marley Bartle, Connor Fletcher, Mallory, Kaya, John Arthur, Shelby, Here, Rowan, Pearson, Jace, and Logan Yates. The Accelerated Reader Award goes to Pearson Robinson, all A's are Marley, Pearson, 
Tyler, Logan Yates, and Shelby Mitchell. All A's and B's are John Arthur, Kaya, Connor, Layla, and Logan Davidson. Great job, guys. I'm so proud of you this year. The nominees for fourth grade student of the year are Marley Bartle, Pearson Robinson, Tyla Collins, and Logan Yates. And the winner is Marley Bartle. Now introducing fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Smith. I just want to say how proud I am of the whole class. It was an honor to be your teacher, and I'm sorry that our school year didn't get to end with all of us being together. When deciding these awards, it was difficult because you were all kind, you were all smart, you all work hard, and you were all talented. And so I just want you to know how much I love you all, and I'm proud of you. So here we go. The Perfect Attendance Award this year goes to Elijah Lawrence. We had several wonderful artists in our class, but um, the Art Award goes to Elijah Lawrence, Edie Bartle, and Samantha Denton. The best prayer in our class is Tucker Burleson. And this award is the Good Friends Award, and there were two that they're thoughtful, they share what they have, they have um, concern for all of their classmates, and this award goes to John Smith and Daniel Martinez. Our Creative Thinker Award goes to Griffin Vardaman. The PE Awards go to Byron Corrado and Sydney Jackson. The Bible Award goes to Sydney Jackson and Trinity Strickland. Our History Award goes to Paige Ferguson and Mason Crossland. The Language Award goes to Edie Bartle and Lily Lowe. The Science Award goes to Edie Bartle and Paul Robinson, and our Most Improved Science Award goes to Byron Corrado. Our Math Award goes to Paul Robinson and Paige Ferguson, and the Most Improved Math Award is Kaylee Rodriguez. The Spelling Award goes to Kaylee Rodriguez, and our Reading Award goes to Noah Serrano and Trinity Strickland, and the AR Award is Trinity Strickland. Our Most Improved Reader Award is Jackson Rasden. The Bible Trophy Awards for those that memorized our Family Verse Challenge this year, Trinity Strickland, Paige Ferguson, Byron Corrado, Noah Serrano, Paul Robinson, Sydney Jackson, Kaylee Rodriguez, Edie Bartle, and John Smith. The Christian Character Award was voted on by the, our, your classmates, and Paige Ferguson and Griffin Vardaman won that award for the year. Those that achieved AB Honor Roll this year, Edie Bartle, Samantha Denton, Lily Lowe, Noah Serrano, John Smith, and Trinity Strickland. And our All A Awards go to Paige Ferguson and Paul Robinson. Our Student of the Month nominees for the fifth grade are Noah Serrano, Paige Ferguson, Edie Bartle, and Paul Robinson. I hope you all have a great summer and I love you all very much. The nominees for fifth grade Student of the Year are Paige Ferguson, Paul Robinson, Edie Bartle, and Noah Serrano. And the winner is Noah Serrano. Now introducing sixth grade teacher, Mrs. Menzies. Hey sixth grade students, we have had an interesting year, haven't we? We still have been able to come up with quite a few awards for you to end your year. First of all, our math awards go to Tyler and Keaton. Math Improvement Award goes to Jackson. For Ms. Smith in language, Keaton gets the Language Award, Eden and Alex get the Reading Award, and then Eden also gets the Accelerated Reader Award. In Spelling, the awards go to Alex and Zoe. In Life Science, we have several inquisitive minds. I could have actually added some more, but these get the Life Science Awards for sixth grade. Tyler, Mauricio, and Eden. History Awards from Coach Wathaw, Kaylin, Keaton, Alex, and Tyler. Geography Bowl team winners, Eden and Tyler. 
Geography Bowl individual winner, Alex. Now moving on to some PE and athletic awards. Mauricio gets the PE award from Coach Wathaw. The sixth grade volleyball player of the year is Kaylin. The sixth grade basketball player of the year is Alex. Now let's move on to honor roll. We have one student who had all A's for the year and that was Kaylin Griffin. Now Eden was uh, not here part of the year, so for the semester she got A's and B's. And all A's and B's for the whole year were Keaton, Lily, Alex, and Tyler. I would like to give Emily an overall improvement award. I'm very proud of you, Emily. Now, Bible verse trophies, Kaylin, Keaton, Mauricio, Lily, Tyler, and Zoe. Our Christian Spirit Awards for sixth grade were Alex and Lily. Lily, you also got nominated by the sixth through twelfth grades for a Christian Spirit nomination. Our salutatorian for the sixth grade class was Alex Smith and the valedictorian for the 2019-2020 school year for the sixth grade class was Kaylin Griffin. Thank you. You may pick up your awards when you come to clean out your locker. The nominees for sixth graders student of the year are Tyler Wickhurst, Kaylin Griffin, Alex Smith, and Keaton Linville. And the winner is Kaylin Griffin. Now I'd like to give out some archery awards. The Girls Bullseye Archer of the Year runner-up, Edie Bartle. And the Girls Bullseye Archer of the Year, Samantha Denton. The Girls 3D runner-up Archer of the Year is Edie Bartle. And the Girls 3D Archer of the Year winner is Samantha Denton. The Bulls 3D Archer of the Year runner-up, Paul Robinson. The Boys 3D Archer of the Year winner is John Smith. The Boys Bullseye Archer of the Year runner-up is John Smith. And the, bull, and the Boys Bullseye Archer of the Year winner is Paul Robinson. The Girls Bullseye Archer of the Year runner-up is Kyrie Mixon. The Girls Archer of the Year winner, overall winner, is Amy Burris. The Girls 3D Archer of the Year runner-up is Amy Burris. And the Girls 3D Archer of the Year overall winner is Kyrie Mixon. The Boys Bullseye Archer, Archer of the Year runner-up is Keaton Linville. And the Boys Bullseye Archer of the Year overall winner is Logan Oaks. The Boys 3D Archer of the Year runner-up is Logan Oaks. And the boys 3D Archer of the Year overall winner is Keaton Linville. The girls Bullseye Archer of the Year is Zoe Moody. And the girls 3D Archer of the Year is also Zoe Moody. The boys Bullseye Archer of the Year runner up is Landon Linville. And the boys Bullseye Archer of the Year overall winner is Preston Linville. The boys 3D Archer of the Year runner up is Preston Linville. And the boys 3D Archer of the Year overall winner is Landon Linville. The boys Joad Archer of the Year runner up is Preston Linville. And the boys Joad Archer of the Year overall winner is Dallas Keithley. Thank you to everyone who has watched the 2020 Academy Awards. See you next year. Can't wait.